understood the amazing power of your brain, you would never ever again walk with anything but a spring in your step. So what is brain-friendly learning then? Well, it's a philosophy, a movement, and a whole variety of techniques, tools, and approaches to make learning fast, fun, and fit for purpose. To bring the joy back into learning. I feel like I got my groove back a bit in terms of training, in terms of influencing people, in terms of remembering why I'm doing this job. Just thinking, this is what inspires me. I'm really enjoying it. I kind of didn't come with any preconceptions. I'm very curious about it and what I can gain from it because I'm quite young in the business. This workshop, these three days, are squarely aimed at people who design and facilitate learning experiences in an organisational context. Kim and the team just have this wonderful quiet authority which is very reassuring, unthreatening and so stick with it and go with it and just enjoy every damn moment you can because there's so much that you'll learn. I can't wait to go back now and change a lot of the courses that we've got to enhance them further and add, add more things to them. I mean this is such an exciting time to be in this business because we're learning so much about the brain and how human beings learn best. Still a lot to discover, but one of the things that we know for certain now is that all learning is state dependent. In other words, the state you're in when you learn something gets associated, literally gets neurologically linked to the content of the learning. So put simply, if you want to feel great while you're applying a particular skill, whether it's training, whether it's leading a multi-million pound company, or whether it's kind of creating an Excel spreadsheet, you need to feel great while you're learning about it. We had Graham Shaw coming along uh, to do his world famous cartooning workshop for trainers. How many of you think you can't draw? By Friday it's going to be sorted. Absolutely awesome. It's been an eye opener. I thought I would be learning how to get information into people's heads. In actual fact, I'm learning how to get it into their hearts, and that's a very, very different experience than the one I expected to get. We have Kevin Cherry, who's going to be working with you on developing your presence, uh, your charisma, your voice, your body. Those of you that said this morning, oh, I wish I had more confidence, that session is going to transform everything. Now, we're not saying to be a great trainer or a great learner or a great leader. You have to be kind of, you know, thumping the air the whole time. It's about appropriateness. So sometimes the most appropriate state is calm reflection. Sometimes it's curiosity. Sometimes it is stomping high energy. But we believe that this is the key skill the trainers and facilitators in the 21st century. The ability to, first of all, manage their own state, but also influence um, and lead the group, lead the learners, into the states that are gonna best serve their learning. Be completely open-minded. You will absolutely enjoy it, and it will change everything you do from home. So this is just way out there. It's completely beyond my expectations. Come with an open mind and get here soon. This has been my passion for the last 25 years and uh, there is a revolution going on, I'm pleased to say, because uh, I don't think we can wait for education, I don't think we can wait for government or, you know, or, or the leaders of the world to kind of do this stuff, it's for people like, like us, people like you and me. And the goal of the revolution is really very, very simple. It's about bringing the joy back. <laughs>